it's, it's just crucial that uh, medicine um, uh, re rethink its mission. It's not just to cure diseases, prevent and cure diseases, replace organs, manipulate molecules. It's to prevent and relieve human suffering. Palliative care became necessary, I think, because medicine, modern technological medicine has forgotten that to some extent. And the problem is that there's an enormous amount of suffering that's unnecessary. Well, palliative care and, and pain control are not readily available in the developing world and the mission of IHPC is to change that, is to make sure that people do not have to suffer unnecessarily. People in high-income countries have access to many resources to relieve and prevent this suffering and people in low and middle-income countries typically do not have access to many or any such resources. So there's an enormous inequality, an enormous disparity in access to uh, palliative care and pain control between rich and poor countries. I think IHPC has been extraordinarily inventive over many years to try to find any way to, to change things. So for example, it was recognized that a resolution um, by the World Health Assembly would resolve that palliative care is necessary, that it's a, an ethical responsibility of health systems, that that could really change things. And IHPC, along with uh, uh, other, other uh, collaborating organizations, was indispensable in making that happen. In assessing the prices of opioids around the world to make sure that they're affordable, supporting training programs and enabling people from developing countries to attend conferences and training uh, in palliative care. Uh, it's in so many ways the AHPC has been the leader in trying to, uh, to break down this enormous um, uh, disparity in access to palliative care and pain control between rich and poor countries.